Could, please smash the like button. Appreciate that. If you could, please hit the notification bell for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot also. If you could, most of all, drop me a line in the comments. Say, what's up, Johnny? Tell me what you're breaking, what you're building, all that kind of jazz. Also, head over to Johnny's Motorized Bicycles on Facebook and join the group, not the page. And you can join the page, but it's you got a request and all that. And you can keep the, the conversation going. I'd appreciate that because, like I said always, my favorite part is the conversation. Now, what I'm doing today, I got you on my chest mount, obviously. Come on, get off, get off, thank you. I got myself a couple bikes over here where I'm staying at that are just crap for the most part. This one, even though it's stupid, I probably like the most because it's a very large frame. So uh, I'll end up probably doing something with this. It's holding air, good enough. I just look, look, look. You can't, I don't know if you can see it because you're on my chest mount. It's got long brake handles for my hands, which is nice. It's got thumb shifters, which is nice. Super large frame. This frame is just huge. So really like that. This bike is just gonna be parts more than likely, but I gotta get these bikes over to Anthony's house. So I can, well, one, get them out of here, and two, figure out what bike is gonna be coming back for me to work on to build Heather a new bike. Okay, I think I showed you the uh, quick release I put in here. So I can just go ahead and carry bikes at my will. Okay, let's figure it out. Let's pump this tire up. Let's get this ready to go. Put it on my bike and figure out which bike I'm going to take over first. I am going to take tall frame over first. I will bring back the rear rim because it's got a good enough tube to, you know, put on any other bike. Now let's see how it is without that touching. No. Still touching it. What's up? Who's scrapping anything? What, what are you doing? I build bikes. I'm not scrapping not one of them. Come on, what? You could. I got proof. I got a YouTube channel that proves it. But who are you to even say anything? You couldn't even come down and get your own shot. But you got something to start with me about something? I haven't even talked to you. What are you going to start with me for? I ain't the one. Bitch. Yeah, I just called you a bitch. Yeah, because you want to start with me about something you don't even know about? Who the f are you? Yeah, I'm a dirtbag, but you're up there drinking, telling me I'm doing something wrong. How the f am I doing something wrong? It's my f shit. I can cut whatever I want off and do whatever I want. Mind your own f business, Karen. Yeah, mind your own business, Karen. Karen. Yeah. A, a loudmouth white bitch like you, that's a Karen. You're a fucking Karen. Yeah. Say retard. All right, retard. Stop talking about retard. Right. I can say okay. whatever I want. I have I heard her say about these bikes. I'm hey guys, I'm walking to the store as I'm what editing this video, but I just wanted you to come in me. and say words are I very hurtful, hurtful and there's no there's reason, reason that we should use years. words that hurt other people, right. derogatory words, about? anything of that like, nature. What, it's just talking about not nothing. right. So I cut out right. a lot of this no, video because it just doesn't it. need to be shown. So I am sorry for the way I acted. Maybe I overreacted, but when people are ignorant, call me a liar, and then on top of it, use words like that. It just gets my blood going so please to each and every one try not to but use hurtful words if you have something to say say it nicely or don't say it at all there's no reason to say things like that that can be extremely hurtful not even to me but to the person that it might actually affect do you understand what i'm saying someone in the background that might hear it there's just no need to act like that to people 
So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you stick around for the rest of the video. All right, now that the craziness is over, I'm gonna take, I gotta take and switch out these bikes and pick up Heather's new bike so I can build her a bike again. So we're heading over to Anthony's house. From here, he lives real close. Loving this new setup on the trailer. So much easier to tow bikes with. Super duper simple. Brought my pump just in case. Let's see what we got going on over Yeah, I need to dig out black bike. That's gonna come back with me. Look at this spider web. Get out of here, spider web. Sorry. I normally wouldn't kill spider webs, but you're right where I need to be. It was all tore up, so I'm not gonna stress it. He's probably not in that web anyway. This might work. My biggest problem though is getting forks to work with that bike. That might be an issue. Oh, I left the clutch on, damn it. Hate when I do that. So bad for the clutches. I need a tape measure. I mean, I still gotta come back regardless. So if I go back dry, it's not that big a deal because I have to come back dry one of the times. So I don't have to bring the bike back now. Yeah, I can go get the tape measure, measure everything. That is much smaller than I thought, though. But because of the way those forks are, I don't think I'm going to be able to MacGyver that in there. I think those forks are built with the race into them. These forks, I think this is built into it like the race is part of it. I never took it apart, so I really don't know. And I mean, she could ride a bike with no suspension, but it's not near as much fun. All right, you guys are still on my chest mount, obviously. So what I'm gonna do real quick, because I'm curious. Curiosity killed the cat, I know. I wanna see what this bottom looks like, because that's honestly gonna be a deciding factor for me. Is that a built-in race? Is it something I can beat off of it? You know, all these questions running around my head. Because if it's not built in, holy tight nut, Batman. Huh. So this is the race. Let's see, if this doesn't fit on there, then I'm already screwed to begin with. I definitely think the bottom is built in. Yep, it does not fit over that at all. Well, I mean, it does not screw onto that. It definitely fits over it. So even the bearings are a different size, so it wouldn't even matter. So no matter what we do, that's not happening. Right, I'm coming right back over, so that's good. Leave that as is. We'll be back. <laughs>
Can I get uh, two gallons? I might have change, but I don't know. Yeah, don't worry about it. Thank you. Yeah. Black bike has a weird fork. Okay. Oh, the, the black bike. That's going to be mine. Yeah, because I was going to put, I was going to try to put either this one on. Right. Or something. Right. <laughs> but. Well, well, we still have my old frame, right? So we'll right, well, that's what I'm measuring now for that. But that's got, like, the head tube is kind of odd, but it's long like this. And it's just a basic what? tube. So I'm right. thinking I can make it fit, but I don't know. So I got to make another run regardless. So I want to measure the head tube, six and three quarter. I'm going to take that one back. I'll measure yours. If it's six and three quarters, and I'll just bring your old back, and I'll try to make it work with this one. say this thing does an excellent job though you know, the green bike I brought over this might actually end up being Heather's new bike it's not the colors we wanted but again we can always sand it down if she really wants and paint it like we did mine but I'm 99% positive that those forks that we have sitting over there will fit this bike and that would solve the problem and then I'm having of getting forks that are gonna fit her bike properly. Unscrew in the quick release in there. Boy, that's, this is a nice setup. Look how easy that is. Boom, and it holds it in there tight, boy. I'm gonna bring over everything from over there where I'm staying at, and I'm just gonna bring it here, and I'm gonna bring my tools over here, and I'm gonna put together a bike here. So I don't have to keep going back and forth, basically. I'm showing myself, like, trying to guess, will this work, will that work, will this work, will that, and I don't wanna do all that. Because one, there's just no point. Two, there's just no point. So, I am going to just go ahead and bring over my tools. And I'm going to work on her bike here. Whether it be a new bike, her old bike, the black bike, whichever I can make work. I'd love to make the black bike work. Because the frame is much lower but I don't think that's gonna happen for us. But that's okay if it doesn't, not, a, not an end all. But I can fix her original bike with the white bike I'm about to bring over. Awesome. She can have her bike back, which is fine with me. I don't care, I don't have, I don't have any skin in the game, so to speak, on what bike she uses. It doesn't matter to me. One iota. So we'll figure that out when the time comes. This can stay over here for now. We're gonna go get the last bike. And what time is it? 7.07. He should be back. By the time I get back, he should be here. 
which should be fine. Let's just do this, simple, simple. I just don't want it to fall out of the bike or out of the trailer. And this will stop that from happening. There we go. Perfect, though. Perfect. Now, let's go get the last bike and be done for the day. We head home. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm bringing one more bike back, so I'll be right back. No, I'll, I'll brief when I come back, I'll look at it. Oh, you're leaving? Uh, no, my friends are going to leave my bike out. Here, since you're up, just throw it in here then, since you're already here and you're leaving. Oh, yeah, you will take um, it to your place. What's that? Yeah, I'll just take it to my oh, place. Oh, yeah, so yeah, if, um, it come, if, if come with, you know, the these, don't lose these. Yeah, I'm there. All right, All right yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. I opened it, it's pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, this will let me do your motor now. I couldn't do anything. I don't have one. Mine broke last time I used it. So it's cool, right? Yeah, definitely cool. Yeah, I guess, well, let's say if you want to leave your bike out, I guess I could bring it back with me. And after I get the motor together, I could just start putting it together over there. Yeah, yeah. Because yours bike, the next thing I'm going to do is your bike. Now that I got this, I can start. Yeah. Because I was going to do either her bike or whatever, but I really want to... I have to buy a, fil uh, a filter for... Yeah. That's all right. It won't matter, really. I think I probably got a filter I could throw on for now, for the worst case. All right, let me, before it gets too dark, I want to go do this. Um, but yeah, uh, put your bike out. Right. Uh, so when I'm done, I bring the other bike here. I'm going to lock everything up, and then I'll load your bike in, and I'll take that back with me so I have everything I need. All right, let me get going before it gets too dark. Yep, I'll see you. Don't forget to leave it out. So uh, basically what this is, is real nice looking flex shaft Dremel. So I got myself a new toy and uh, I'm just putting a little bit of grease. I don't know if you're supposed to, if it needs it, but I'm not overdoing it. I'm, I'm assuming it needs to be lubed up since it is metal or metal. I think the middle, inside of this is metal. The flex shaft, it makes sense. So uh, let me finish doing this and uh, I'll get back to you and uh, show you what I'm doing exactly because I gotta hang this up and I'll show you what exactly we are gonna be getting into today. Why do we have a new toy? For some reason I seem to have gravitated, we all know why, because I'm an idiot. Uh, I gravitated, gravitated, gravitated towards the YD100 because it is supposedly out of the box, a much larger piston and you know more power and all that and blah blah blah. Which it is. No replacement for displacement, right? We all know that additive. Okay, cool. It's a one-piece jug. They're kind of a pain in the butt. So I got myself some long bits to fit inside. It's quarter-inch shank. They will not fit inside of a standard Dremel tube tool. Now with these the flex shaft ones, they can. Unfortunately, you didn't read the fine print. This is a quarter horsepower, even though it said quarter inch HP. So it was a typer typing error on purpose, probably, to be honest with you, to make you think something else. Whatever. They do not fit inside of the zip, so that stinks. But they do sell a new thing. You can take this this piece off here, and they do sell one that fits a quarter inch shank. So that's what I'm probably going to do. But that new piece is as much as this whole thing costs. Me. Foot control. It's pretty quiet too. I gotta say. Nice. And it's 
foot, variable speed. Really like it a lot. Not gonna lie. But these don't fit. So I'm gonna, you know I do things probably the hardest way possible, just to, the nature of the beast for me. This is obviously tungsten, tungs, tungsten, tungsten, you know what I'm saying, it's carbide. And it's hardened steel. The shaft, however, I already checked it with a file. It is not hardened steel. It's just regular mild steel. So you already probably know where I'm going to go with this. I am going to figure a way to grind down the shaft. So I'm going to have to probably get myself the other end eventually. And I'll get myself a vise. Probably this weekend I'll get the vise. You know about the other piece though. It's another $50, $60, I think is, is a lot of money for me. The vise I can get at Hobo Freight for like 10 I think. And that's needed. A, a small one, obviously, not a, not a big one. I'm going to screw it into my new crappy desk I got. No matter what, this thing here, even with the bits I have, is going to make a huge difference. But we are going to get those long bits to work because I want to be able to get into the transfers because I got some stuff planned. Speaking of plans, so this here is just a big plastic dish. But I want to be able to drill it out and put this on the side of the motor and make my own degree wheel. I don't have to be exact perfect. Well, you do kind of got to be exact perfect, but I can get pretty dang close do it on myself and get within a couple degrees, which is, I'm not going for extreme race engines here yet. I will eventually. You never know. You never know where things will go. But for now, I just need to get pretty close. That's what I'm going to use to do it. So <clears throat> let me hang this up and let me bring out what we're going to do because we have a new project starting very soon. By soon, I mean today. I'm pretty sure you can tell by this stuff here what it's going to be. YD100 diode read, but this one is not going to require as much work. This one has the mounting plate right here. So I can basically just attach this directly to the cylinder and from there we can attach the diode read on this side. What I'm going to do though is once it's attached, then I'm going to bore it out and mill it all out and all that nonsense so that I can get the size port that I want. Because that's the main thing. Right, really quick for the uh, new build breaking down here. I'm trying to get it ready to possibly put a degree wheel on it. Still working on that whole thing. Taking the magnet off regardless and all that. And took the magnet off. Under the magnet was a flat washer. First time I ever seen a flat washer under the magnet. Maybe they got to do it for clearance on the rubber seal. I don't know. I'm going to take the coil off and I'm going to play around with it right now and see why. Because I've, I've never seen that before. It's a first for me. There we go. Get that out. Set that there. Where did I do the magnet? I lost it already. Okay, put my base. <laughs> well, I don't think it would actually chew it up. It's spinning pretty freely. I just don't know. Oh well. I guess we'll figure that out. Hey guys, I am on my way walking to get gas really quick, but I just wanted to say, as always, thanks for watching. If you could, smash the like, um, hit the little bell that goes with it. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell that goes with it, that'd be awesome. And above all, drop me a line in the comments. I always really appreciate that a lot. And I put in the description a bunch of links to everything so you can just click on it, go to the TikTok or Facebook group or whatever, what have you, the Venmo, all that stuff. Any support is appreciated as always in any way. And uh, I just love the little hobby and got going what we got going here with this. So again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace.